the 2.6 kg uniform horizontal rod in figure 1 is seen from the side. What is the gravitational torque about the point shown? Express your answer with the appropriate unit. So from this we extract that we want to know what is the torque done by gravity on this rod. The black dot represents the pivot point and we see that the pivot point is not in the center. The total length of the rod is 100 centimeters and we can calculate that the center of the rod is 50 centimeters. We have 50 centimeters, that's the center of the rod, minus 25 centimeters, it's equal to 25 centimeters. 25 centimeters is the distance between the pivot and the place where gravity acts. Now let's convert 25 centimeters to meters, because we are using the international unit system. We have that 25 centimeters is equal to 0.25 meters. Let's remember that torque is equal to the magnitude of the force multiplied by the magnitude of the radius between the pivot point and the place where the force is applied multiplied by the sine theta, that's the angle between the radius and the force. We see that gravity acts directly downwards. There is a 90 degrees angle between the radius in the horizontal and the gravity that's going downwards. It is important to remember that because this rod is uniformly distributed, the gravity acts at the geometric center of the rod. So the effect of gravity is 25 centimeters to the right of where the pivot point is. We have that torque is equal to mg times radius times sine of 90 degrees. 90 degrees is the angle between the radius and the force of gravity. Torque is equal to 2.6 kilograms multiplied by 9.8 meters per second square multiplied by 0.25 meters of the radius multiplied by the sine of 90 degrees. We know that sine of 90 is equal to 1. And we get that our torque is negative 6.37 newtons meter. The magnitude of the torque is considered to be positive. But if we want to consider the direction of net torque, in this case, the torque is negative because the effect of gravity tends to move the rod in a clockwise direction. That's negative torque by convention. Now, I want to show you a brief demonstration about how torque looks in real life. So we see that the mass in this rod is uniformly distributed. It has 30 centimeters of length, in this case, just an example, and 15 centimeters is the center. Mg is going downwards. So this is mg, the effect of gravity is going downwards, the pivot is in the line of action of the force. So it makes no torque. It is supported by the pivot, the mass of this rod is supported by the pivot, but there is no torque. Let's see what happens now if we change. And now the pivot is going to be to the left of the center of mass. So now the gravity, now let's take this out, and the gravity continues to be in the geometric center of the rod. But now there is torque because there is a radius and there is a 90 degrees. So now we have torque. Let's see what happens if I let it go. You see, there is an there is an unbalanced torque that produces the rod to move. Force is at a distance and it is perpendicular, so now we have a torque. What happens when this rod gets to equilibrium? Let's see that this is the pivot point. So right now, in this state, the gravity acts at the geometric center. In this moment, the pivot is in the line of action of the force. So we see that in this state, gravity makes no torque. But if we go back, the gravity is in the geometric center. In this moment, the gravity makes torque. Okay guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video and demonstration. Remember to like and share it with your friends, your geek friends, your girlfriend. and. I will see you in the next video. Keep it going, guys.